a battle Trying that I'll call so To keep you, babe Oh, to keep you, babe Thirty-four on the by by these beautiful trees. We're actually, back into this farm. Saw some horses. Supposedly, there's some sheep, goats, all different farm animals. It's kind of cool. But this campground, we went to a. RV show, the West Palm Beach RV show, and we were walking around and there was a booth about this campground and he gave us a three night free stay. The pool is not open right now, This everything is not completed so that's probably why it's free right now, but it's very nice. The office was closed because it's a Sunday, but the camp host was very nice and he met us with the golf cart and took us right to our site. I like being by the trees, we're all the way down there. This right over here is where we entered and that's where the office is. They also um, have Wi-Fi. It's a good Wi-Fi um, where they give you a box. You just have to give a deposit of $50 and you get refunded once you give back the box. Maybe pickleball. They mentioned something about volleyball and eventually the pool will be open. When it's all done it looks like it'll be very nice. It'd be nice to sit out there under the porch. This is the lobby when you come in. This is they found is 28 million years old. They found on the property. It's kind of cool. Kitchen. I'm sure they're gonna have different events in here. Nice, wow. A lot of laundry. A lot of laundry. Looks like this is gonna be a hot tub. Oh, it's gonna be really nice. Like the tiki. It's gonna be really nice once it's done. Oh, wow. That's cool, you can play, I forgot what it's called, play games in here, it's nice. I've never played pickleball. Oh, she's an instructor. Oh really? That's cool. 
Okay. Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Watch how watch how much they drop. We could get out of town. See the beautiful world around. Wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out we can Hello again everybody I'm Scott And I'm Melissa And welcome to RV Rolling with MJ This week, where are we? We're at Oak Alley RV Resort In Webster, Florida uh, It's very hot today yes. In the uh, probably low 90s we do have our mister. If you saw our top gadgets, you would have seen that we hooked that up to the awning and spray a little mist, and um, it's really cooling us off. Yes. So uh, anyway, getting back <laughs> to the resort. Um, so this is an interesting place. It's the largest resort I've ever seen in my life. Probably the equivalent of six football stadiums, <laughs> including the parking lots. Oh, they're not all open. And they probably have about three of them done. Um, and they're still in the back doing, um, you know, the grass and the excavation of the other. So this is like massive um, amount of space here. Um, uh, unfortunately, a lot of the amenities aren't completed. So some of the amenities they do have are? They will have a pool, and I went over there. It's, it's going to be very nice, a pool and a hot tub. Um, what they have open is the pickleball and the volleyball. Uh, they also have shuffleboard and bocce ball, but that's not, doesn't look open. They're still working on that. And they also have a really nice club room for inside. There is foosball, ping pong, um, and some other games. Plus there's like rooms where if you wanted to have a card game, mahjong, or uh, I saw people playing dominoes. Yeah, it's a gigantic uh, clubhouse. You With a wraparound port. We went to the uh, uh, West Palm Beach, no, it was the West Palm Beach RV show. And they had a booth set up and they were giving away three night stays for free and there was no like, Time share nothing and, and free is my price. Yeah, it was it's you give me some for anything. free, I'm gonna show up. Yeah. <laughs> we actually are back to a farm where we are right now with these gorgeous trees, which is keeping us somewhat shaded and we've seen some farm animals. Um, yeah, there's some cows, uh, horses. Horses. horses back there. <laughs> see it all. Yeah. So it, it, it it's great. This place is gonna be you know, really gigantic when um, it, it gets all its amenities up and running. Right now, it's very sparse. Um, so, out of all the three areas that are open, I mean, there's probably right now 15 or so um, RVs parked. There was some more yesterday. Today is a Monday. Yeah, there's a lot to like about it. Again, it's tough because the amenities aren't in. Um, so we're going to have to probably come back here yeah, and check in, it out. in like six months or so to see uh, how it's doing. So, you know, keep in mind when we give our rating, which we're going to do, yeah. um, you know, you're not getting the full full effect yet. Um, so things we look at, by the way, when we rate a place is the, the amenities, um, the, location. The, the location, does it have a wow factor, um, the staff, um, and... Those are the things we consider, and we, we rate from a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the best place we've ever been, and 1 being, well, not the best place we've ever been. So, anyway, with that said, Missy? Missy, I'm not Missy. I'm going to give it a 7.5. One of the things um, which I'm going to be doing tomorrow is that included when you stay here is you can do the activities, and one of them I'm going to be doing tomorrow morning is a pickleball. Um, lesson so that doesn't cost any extra it is they have I saw they it. have yoga and they might have some other things going on but I, 
you know, I would have to come back. I might give it more because the pool area um, that they're building looks really nice and the activities. The only thing that I don't like is how open it is. But luckily that we're right here by the trees, which that I like in the farm in the background. But it seems to be, you'll see in the video, is a lot of open space with no trees. Maybe they're planning on planting more trees. But it just seems like there's going to be a lot if, you know, of RVs. I don't know how close together they'll be, but there is no trees separating each other, which I that I'm not a fan of. Uh, but um, it does look like the activities, once it's up and running, will be a lot of fun. The pickleball courts we mentioned earlier, it's not like there's one or two. Oh, there's there's like, like ten. Yeah. And it, it actually looks like the signage there that they, they plan to have, like, pickleball tournaments yeah, probably like international mm -hmm. or national events here that's the way it, you know it looks like it's it's being set up to be um, so uh, with that said I'm gonna give it a seven I don't know. What she needs it. I know. You always go. Usually go lower than me, which I is, do? and it is. Okay, because so I have why. I have higher expectations. Uh, believe me, so, we don't. Yeah. So we have not discussed our rating. I'll tell you, it's very hard to judge this place. There's a lot to like about it, but um, it's incomplete. When um, we come man. back next time, I, I'm I'm predicting it's going to actually go one of two ways. It's either going to go a lot higher or a little lower. A lot higher because You'll have amenities. You'll have uh, lots of people, act, you know, activity, a lot of act, action going on. Um, or it could go the other way. The amenities are still going to be the same. They'll complete those. But what could happen is it becomes overcrowded. Yeah, that's so, what I'm worried so about. So what we see right now is um, you can't see it, but I can. Um, <laughs> it, it's it's open. There's not anybody to my right and the left, and there's enough room even if there was somebody to the right and left. But I can imagine if. RV started to come in every spot that I see it could get a little uh, not not tight but just it'll it'll feel and see appear crowded and especially at the back it's really I mean I'm sure the owners would love it reminds me of as I look out and it only it only I think looks this way because there's not a lot of people here and I've never seen a campsite that didn't have a lot of people <coughs> so when I look out I want you to visualize going to a um, outdoor movie theater, drive-in movie theater, and you drive up and you see, uh, you know, all the poles where you used to put, I don't know if they do it anymore, they used to put the radio up in the car. So you drive into it and it's completely open, but you see all the spots for cars. That's what it looks like to me. Now, that may be what a campsite looks like when there's nobody there, I don't know, but that's what it looks like here. A massive, like a, a 20 screen Drive-in movie theater is supposed to be here. That's what it looks like. But again, I think we're going to be a completely yeah, different. Yeah, because rating. we don't know what their plans are. They might be still planting trees, a lot more trees. We don't know what they're doing. And if the owners so. see this video and uh, want us to come back, <laughs> they might not like. <laughs> they might not like what we say. But I'm being completely honest. Again, it is a weekday right now, uh, afternoon. And so, we are enjoying our time. Oh, it's, we, it's very we love relaxing. It. That's what we and, do this for. Uh, um, and I'm. Um, we don't all have, the we, activities, and I'm looking forward to playing pickleball. We don't always tomorrow. have to go out, you know, climb mountains, um, yeah. fight with monkeys, <laughs> wrestle yeah. bears, and all that. You know, I like, I like relaxing, so I'm, I'm fine with it. But I could, you know, after a couple but, days, so that's that's it. But yeah. you know, owners, please contact us. Uh, comment below. We'll be would love to come back. Yes. With an invitation. Right. All right. So, uh, with that said, we will. See you down the road. In your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand that we only get one life? I wanna make it count, honey. Come on now and take my hand. Hey, darling. I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a